Joining me right now, Dr. Rick Knapp, how are you today? I'm wonderful. Thanks so much for being here to help us get the word out about this exciting event and these awesome pilots and crew members on these Hurricane Hunter planes. Fantastic to meet them. These planes are incredible, I'll tell you that. Tell me a little bit about us in Charlotte. We are not on the coast. Talk about our threat and what you guys look for at the National Hurricane Center for our threats. Yeah, hurricanes and tropical storms are not just coastal events and some of your own storm history teaches that. Hurricane Hugo, 1989, was moving quickly after coming ashore and brought hurricane force winds to the Charlotte area. And of course, you're very vulnerable to heavy rainfall and inland flooding. If it can rain where you live, it can flood where you live. And that's why we urge folks to actually take the water hazard seriously. We're not afraid enough of water sometimes, and we need to dedicate ourselves to not driving our cars onto water covered roadways. Don't drive around barricades when a road is closed and also get flood insurance because your homeowners or your renters insurance by default isn't going to cover for flood. So there's a lot we can do now before there's another hurricane coming to get ready for the inland flood hazard. OK, and talk about the forecast of, of this upcoming summer. A lot of folks want to know, are we going to get more? Are we going to get less? Are we going to get more intense? Talk about how it may not be that important. It only takes one. Right, the NOAA seasonal hurricane forecast when it comes out later in May, generally speaking, we should all shrug our shoulders because we have to realize that there's a big difference between how busy the season might be overall, which is what that seasonal forecast talks about, and how bad it can be where you live. Because we've seen below average years with major hurricane and tropical storm impacts, it only takes one. In fact, back in 1983, it was a way below average hurricane season and there was only one major hurricane the whole year. But that one major hurricane hit my town in Houston, Texas, where I was living at the time. It only takes one. If you get hit, you're not gonna care what the numbers were, and so you, you really need to prepare the same way every year. Dr. Ribnap, Rick Knapp, thank you so much. Thank you.